What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 8 of our Python with PyQt4 tutorial video series. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is the adding a checkbox as well as adding some event handling for that checkbox just to get us even more comfortable with event handling. With that, let's go ahead and hop right in. So a checkbox can be a lot of things. A checkbox can uh, it's usually some sort of a toggle for maybe some sort of setting that someone may want or may not want, and so on. For us, um, this is the only, this is the first one at least uh, so far that makes really no sense for me to make the checkbox exit the application. So we're going to make it do something else, but I'm going to show you how you can use it to modify your application. So, for example. Let's, uh, we're going to add this to, we'll add it to home, and we'll just do it right below uh, our toolbar. And of course, before self.show, it can be easy to like modify your method and then like start, you know, modifying it down here after the show. So don't do that. And uh, let's just do check box like that equals qt GUI dot q check box. And then you can specify what you want the checkbox to set. We're going to make ours uh, enlarge the window and self. So that adds the checkbox. Now, what we need to do is checkboxes have a state. They are either on or off. It's a Boolean state. So to check that, we do checkbox.statechanged.connect self.enlarge window. Okay, and that's that. So then uh, we need a enlarge window method. So let's add our enlarge window method. Uh, and in fact, to make this a proper method, I think we're supposed to do that. I'm trying my best to stay pep8. Uh, someone's probably gonna be like, that's not pep8. No. <laughs> anyway, define enlarge underscore window self and now we have um, basically a question either either the state is checked or it's not checked so what we can say is if state equals um, and I, in fact enlarge window and then comma state and then yeah that should be enough enlarge window comma state enlarge Yes. So if state equals qt core dot qt dot checked. Oh my goodness! I typoed that twice in a row. Uh, self dot set geometry, and then we're gonna change it. We'll keep the window in the same initial location, but now we'll make it a thousand by six hundred. So we're just doubling the window size. Else, self dot set geometry. 50, 50, 500, 300. Now, uh, let us, uh, that should be good actually. So let's go ahead and run that and see how we do. Okay, well, we first of all, we see it's of course in, in the way of our file, but let's click it anyways. And as you can see, it makes the window bigger. So let's close this. And let me go back. Where did we initially set our geometry? 50, 50. So let's run that one more time. Oh, I had moved the window. I was trying to figure out, like, how did that, I swear it went up. Okay, so that was my fault. Now, let's uh, let's move this checkbox over and maybe down a little bit. So, uh, what we can do is right under here, we can say the check um, checkbox dot move and dot move, please. Thank you. Move, and we'll move it... Ooh, let's move it 100 over and maybe 15 down, something like that. Maybe a little more down. Let's do uh, 25. That's good enough for now. <laughs> so now we can make it bigger, smaller, cool. Now, sometimes people might want to know, well, maybe what if he wanted a checkbox like this checkbox um, is not by default toggled, but you might have an instance where the default is toggled. Well, what do you do? Well, first of all, what you would do uh, should be as simple as checkbox.toggle, possibly. Let's try that right quick. Uh, toggle, right. So now it's automatically checked, if you notice. But 
the window isn't any friggin' bigger. What gives? Well, if we look over here, um, we can see that the question that we asked is uh, checkbox.state changed. So the reason why this isn't really working, it depends on what your logic and your defaults are, right? But this will only be triggered if the state is changed and the initial is we, we're just toggling it on or off. So if the initial state is to be toggled off, then uh, then the initial state um, you know, is off and then so clicking it would make it do you know, a positive action. But instead, like if you wanted it off, you would say, you know, you, you could toggle this off and then you would basically flip these, uh, flip these scenarios around, you know. So if you wanted to have something off by default, just keep that in mind. But just visually, if you want to toggle it or not, you can, by default, it's not toggled. But if you wanted it to be, to be toggled, you would just, you know, turn this off. And then maybe instead of enlarge, you might have a shrink window, right? And then you could leave it toggled right and then the window would shrink it you know if you untoggled it let's say or if you untoggled it now then it would get bigger right so anyway um, before I confuse myself any more than I've already confused myself <laughs> the point is you can toggle it in advance or not but just keep in mind the event handling if you do so <laughs> moving on before my head blows up um, that's our checkbox, how you can make it do stuff, and just, you know, making the window bigger or smaller. So if you have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.